It's not very attractive. Simply a little red blob labeled Jade's GSZ-130. These hazy dots, captured by the James Webb Space Telescope, are the most distant galaxies, confirmed by current gold standard measurements. The story began when these four ancient galaxies were discovered by the James Webb Space Telescope during its early months of operation. And now astronomers have confirmed that they are the oldest ever observed by humans, and are almost as old as the universe itself. This collection of stars is being seen only 325 million years after the Big Bang. To simplify, if the age of the universe is 13.8 billion years, then we are seeing them at a time when the universe was just 2% as old as it is now. Meaning that it has taken a very long time for the light from this blob to reach us. However, Webb's predecessor, the skilled Hubble Space Telescope, discovered our previous most distant galaxy. It spotted the similarly unusual GNZ-11. It was at a period when the universe was just 400 million years old that this galaxy was found to be a bit closer to us. The real news, though, is that scientists are now using the James Webb Space Telescope instead of the Hubble Telescope to try to figure out when the first stars were formed. We aren't quite there yet with Jade's GSZ-130, but we're getting there. But, you might ask now, weren't there reports over the summer of Webb's observations that were even more distant than Jade's GSZ-130? Well, maybe. It all depends on the methods employed to calculate the distance. The term redshift is used by astronomers when discussing vast distances. It's a way to measure how much the expansion of the universe has caused the wavelengths of light from faraway galaxies to get longer. The Jade's galaxy has a redshift of 13.2. The number indicates how much further away it is, and this is because a greater distance causes more stretching. Using a small set of specialized filters on their camera, scientists can get reasonably accurate estimates of their target's brightness and color. Photometry is the term for this method. So Jade's is actually an international team of over 80 astronomers, and they are just getting started. The next step for them is to examine the individual stars inside those galaxies, some of which may have been born as much as 100 million years before they were first seen by Webb. Current galaxy formation models are consistent with the findings. And interestingly, the scientists found galaxies in the near-cam data that seemed to be much older than those that had already been confirmed. However, the near-spec measurements, which are more accurate, have not yet confirmed the ages of these galaxies. On Monday, December 12th, the new findings will be shown at a conference in Baltimore, put on by the Space Telescope Science Institute. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out our previous videos, and visit our website if you love reading at www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.